Hello and welcome to Movie Magic Budgeting 7 Tips and Tricks. I'm your host Stephen Kincellick, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to import data from Movie Magic Scheduling 5 over to Movie Magic Budgeting 7. Let's get right into it. So here I am in Movie Magic Scheduling 5, where I'm going to create the export to be used in Movie Magic Budgeting 7. And you have to use Movie Magic Scheduling 5 because version 4 didn't have the export. And what I'm going to create is uh, an export of the categories and elements to be used in budgeting. So I'm going to go up to File, Export, and I'm going to select Movie Magic Budgeting 7 or higher. And it gives me the default file path and the default name. And if I don't like that, I can click Browse and select a destination. I'm going to select my desktop. And I can change the name if I want. I'm going to leave that alone and click Save. And then click OK. And it's already created the export. So I can go over to Budgeting. And to bring over that information, I'm going to click on Library, Open Library. And it brings up a dialog where you get to select it. I'm going to go to the desktop where I saved it. And here's the file that I created. I'm going to select it and click Open. And as you can see, it brought over all the categories with all the elements in them. So I'm going to close this window for now. And I'll go over to an account and double click it to get down to the accounts level. I'm going to double click again to get down to the detail. And I'm going to select a row. Now it's very important that you select a row. If you just select part of a row, it's not going to be able to insert. So you have to select the entire row. And I'm going to go up to Library, Show Library Manager. I'm going to select the library that I want and select the category that I want. And I'll select Cast Members and click Insert. And if I close this, you can see it's brought over all the elements from that category. And you can go in and edit the uh, amount or the units or the rate uh, from here. And let's say that you didn't want every single item in here. They weren't all principal cast. Well, you can go in and select a number of rows. And you can, I'm right clicking to hit uh, cut row. And I'm going to go over to a different account to supporting cast. And I'll go down to the bottom row, select it, and I'll hit Paste Row. So you can cut and paste between the different accounts, just like you normally would with anything else. And let's say that I want to do that again. You can keep repeating this. So I can go over to Wardrobe, and I'm going to go down to um, Purchases. I'm going to select a row, go up to Library, Show Library Manager and repeat the process. I'm going to select the library that I want. I'm going to select wardrobe and click insert. And it's brought over all those elements from that category. And again I can cut and paste if I want to move things around. So we hope that eliminates some of the repetitive data entry that you might have between the two programs. But we'd love to hear what you think about it. Send your feedback to budgetingbeta at entertainmentpartners.com and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get all the updates on when we add new videos and tips and tricks. And also check www.entertainmentpartners.com to see all our new latest products and services. Thanks for watching.